What's up my comic comrades? Today we're talking about one of my favorite villains in all of comic books, Sinestro. He's a super complex character who's been a hero, anti-hero, and of course, villain. And since it's been a little bit since we did a How Powerful Is episode, that's what I'm here to do today. Talk about how powerful Sinestro is. With that said, let's get started. First and foremost, Sinestro is one of the most strategic characters and villains in all of DC. He's a planner. He plans many steps ahead of his opponent. He also knows more about the Lantern Rings than almost anyone in the universe, excluding Rami, the creator of the first ring. Speaking of ring, let's start off with a bang. The most powerful ring of them all, the White Lantern Ring. Sinestro was actually the first White Lantern ever. You know, the ring that's all the Lantern Rings combined. Yeah, Sinestro was the first person to wield it. And when he does, he proclaims himself the greatest Lantern of them all. But besides being the first to control the ring that wields all the lights, he of course has created his own Lantern Core, called the Yellow Lantern Core, or more popularly, the Sinestro Core. That's right, dude created his own core that is based in fear. Literally, the whole point of the Sinestro Core is to instill fear. They're essentially the evil equivalent of the Green Lantern Corps, the reverse Flash to Flash, if you will. Now, I'm sure you guys are familiar with Mongol, the Superman villain who's considered a Superman-level threat, while Sinestro has beat the crap out of him on more than one occasion, most notably the time Mongol tried to take over the Sinestro Corps. But he didn't know that Sinestro installed safeguards in all of the Yellow Lantern rings to ensure his leadership, at which point he had yellow lights stab him all throughout his body. Then, you know, you have the time he just called upon the power of his entire Sinestro Corps to kill the the Pale Bishop, who is an undead guardian of the universe, meaning he possesses near omnipotent power. But you know, easy stuff, just super easy. Speaking of easy, he made easy work of Power Ring from the Crime Syndicate. For those of you who don't know, Power Ring is the evil version of Green Lantern from Earth-3. And Sinestro first chopped off his arm with a power saw construct and then disintegrated him with a blast from his yellow ring. Sinestro is incredibly ruthless, which you'll see throughout this episode. But if that doesn't do it for you, Sinestro once destroyed multiple spaceships with his Power Ring while talking to one of his core members. The dude didn't even look at the ships. He just pointed his arm backwards and blasted them to dust. And here's probably one of the craziest ones on this list. Sinestro once charged his yellow lantern ring to 1000%. You know how the saying goes, I gave it 110% just to really show you gave it your all, but that's just an expression because you really can't give anything more than 100%. It's like giving someone an 11 out of 10. You could say it to be nice and make a point, but a 10 is still the top. Well, in this case, it wasn't just an expression. The dude legitimately got his ring up to power level 1000. He literally starts focusing and saying, I am Sinestro, harnesser of the yellow light of fear, devourer of the life force of parallax, the all powerful entity. And as he's saying this, his ring power level keeps going up to the point it hits power level 500. He goes on to say, I remove all safeguards from my ring. I open myself up willingly to the flood of the fear engine, at which point the ring gets to level 700. He continues to say, power that would rend the flesh of any other shall be bent to my whim, at which point he yells, Sinestro's might, and his ring hits power level 1000. As he rises in his yellow lantern parallax glory, one of the craziest moments ever for Sinestro, in my opinion. Then in the Forever Evil event, we have the time Deathstorm exploded. For those of you who don't know, Deathstorm is the Earth-3 version of Firestorm. He's a part of the crime syndicate. And when Deathstorm exploded, it caused a nuclear blast. But Sinestro just created a construct force field to save himself and others like Lex Luthor, Bizarro, Captain Cold, and so on and so forth. Now, remember Pale Bishop, the undead guardian of the universe that I mentioned earlier? Yeah, well Sinestro once resisted mind rape from him, which is no easy thing to do. Sinestro even says, he seeks to burn my fear, my power from my system, to make me an empty servant to their order. And I am frightened, frightened of losing myself, of feeling everything I've worked to attain slip through my fingers once again. My own emotions are amplified and turned against me. I resist every terrible moment in my life simultaneously. But then Sinestro found something. He found a moment of fear in Bishop that he turned against him and then broke free. What I'm saying is Sinestro is a boss. Oh, and here's a fun one. Sinestro killed space tigers once without even using his ring. He literally wrestled them with his bare hands. He was also able to fight Lobo with ease. This is impressive because Lobo is a Superman level threat. Hence Lobo being an enemy of Superman. And being the badass that he is controlling the Sinestro core, he can self-destruct all the rings whenever he wants, which he's done before using his core members as bombs in battle. Yeah, I told you earlier, this dude is ruthless. Then we have yet another confrontation with Sinestro and Mongol, where Mongol straight up admitted that he was no match for Sinestro with the power of Parallax. This next one is definitely a feat of strength, but I like it more because it's just a badass moment. And that's the time Sinestro defeated Hal Jordan. That's right, he defeated the greatest Green Lantern of them all, Hal Jordan. And I'm not just saying that, like the comics have literally called Hal Jordan the greatest Green Lantern of them all. So that right there should tell you how insanely powerful Sinestro is, that he was able to defeat Hal Jordan. But the part 
part I really like is when Parallax wanted to kill Hal Jordan, but Sinastro just said, Parallax, down boy. You see, Jordan, I did what you could not. I mastered Parallax. I subdued it. He wanted to slaughter you just now. Could you sense that? But I wouldn't allow it. Tell me, when it comes to control, who is the student and who is the teacher? Which is one of the coolest mic drop moments in comic books, as Sinastro was originally a Green Lantern, more specifically, the Green Lantern who taught Hal. So for him to say, you couldn't control Parallax, but I could. So tell me, who is the student and who is the teacher? Bro, bro, that's dirty. Then we have the time Sinestro killed the Guardians of the Universe, all except Ganthet. He did so once they turned bad, saying it was punishment for killing his home world, as his home world died because of their sins. Again, Sinestro tells Hal, it wasn't murder, it was punishment. Needless to say, killing the dudes who created the Green Lantern Corps is pretty impressive and pretty crazy. It's also an extreme feat of power because the Guardians of the Universe possess cosmic powers. I mean, they're literally functionally immortal and have near omnipotent powers, but Sinestro killed them all but one. And the last demonstration of power we're gonna mention is from Green Lantern issue 20 from the New 52, Jeff Johns' last issue on Green Lantern. This is the issue Sinestro quite literally makes Parallax his bitch. Wanting and needing more power, he literally goes up to the yellow central power battery, calling out to Parallax saying, I know you're in there, and I demand that you heed my will, and then proceeds to speak the Sinestro core oath, saying, in blackest day, in brightest night, but where my fears made into light, let those who try to stop what's right burn like my power, Sinestro's might. At which point, Parallax comes crawling out of the power battery, but Sinestro just looks Parallax straight in the face saying, well, creature, what are you waiting for? You may have controlled your past host, but not me, as he absorbs Parallax. And on the next page he says, I now control Parallax. I control fear, all of it, becoming one of the most powerful beings in the DC universe, controlling fear itself. Yeah, there's a reason we save this one for last, as it's the moment he was imbued with the powers of Parallax and was able to control it, which is unheard of. But there you have it guys, a small list of Sinestro's powers and feats that lets you understand just how powerful this guy is. But just like that, we wanna know what how powerful episodes you guys want. Let us know in the comment section down below. And that's gonna bring another episode of Rant to a close. But if you liked today's video, be sure to check out this one right here. And if you like our channel, as I always say, be sure to subscribe, comment, and like, it helps us out. But I will see you guys next week when I talk about all things comics.